Juba. Yes, sir. Juba. Tal, tal, Juba. Taxi. Yes, madam. Juba, Juba. Juba. Smile, please. All the days. Senada, ana maji Juba. Senada, ana I know dollar waka. This year. Senada, ana maji Juba. Senada, ana I know salam naja. This year. Senada, ana maji Juba. Senada, ana I know dollar waka. This year. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second phase of today's interview. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to South Expo's program. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a program that we do weekly, every Thursday, and we get to interact with different big personalities that we have in South Sudan, the musicians and other celebrities that we have. It's always a good chance to always interact with these people because they are always a source of inspiration to the people out there. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this program. I am MC and Elsa. I'll be your host today and uh, alongside my co-host. MC Breezy, aka Oscar, and in the building today we pleasure and hold it down to you, South Sudan, who are out there. Wherever you are watching us live on Facebook, we go live, YouTube, we load it, we upload the, the, the videos every Thursday, we do the, the program, we upload the music. So within the period of uh, from Thursday to Saturday, we, 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 we do it live like that, YouTube. And uh, in the building, we have uh, artists in the building. Uh, welcome to South Expo. Man, what's your name, man? Yeah, this is Sina. I'm watching the building right now, right from EJ. I'm on the mission, mission to the world. I, I, I like the way I like the way you talk. I like, it seems like you're you you Afro Afro pop artist, you dance or you you hip hop. I don't know which one you like, man. So. Hearing that 
I say it with me, I, I tried to build it up myself because they, were, they already discovered what I got. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting. You know, from being, I remember even this, uh, this guy from Nigeria, he was kid. Mm -hmm. So started as, you know, a choir, you know, yes. being a choir from the church. I think church is, is, is one of the great tools in becoming a musician because as long as you can sing in the church, Definitely. you really have some good vibe to do. So, yes, um, I also, I don't know, um, because uh, there are many people out there, you might not be knowing where to follow, but you can get us on Facebook Live right now, that is a social promoters. And uh, you can as well uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel that is at Shout Show Promoters, definitely. SSP uh, TV, we goes by the name. And uh, in the building, MC Breezy, aka Oscar, and. MC and Elsa, aka Anna Steven. We're having the man himself in the building. And uh, the next question I want to ask is that uh, uh, who, who do you really go to? You know, I as I'm hearing, you know, the, the sound, it's really. I don't know, uh, the producer, where, where do you always, uh, you know, produce your sounds and who is, you, who is behind the, all this good job, man? The production, yes. Yeah, we, we need some not so steady and you know, I'm not the one producer. You know, I do this music on my own, uh, I record on my household, so it depends on what I got that day. Okay. So if it's little, I look for uh, maybe a affordable producer. Okay. If I have enough, I also look for another one. <laughs> I don't wow. know. <laughs> That's good, that's good. It seems, it seems like you're someone who doesn't depend on others, right? Yeah, for now, I'm on my own. Okay. Yeah, so my family wanted me to be uh, in the School of Medicine. Okay. Wow, that's uh, quite interesting. So I disappointed them by becoming a musician. <laughs> it's actually not a disappointment because sometimes it's a matter of what you can do, not what you should do. Yeah, definitely. Because the more you enjoy what you do, then you're putting a positive impact to the society. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're streaming live on SSP TV. Yeah, and you can also catch us live on Facebook. That is Miss Nav South Sudan. Yeah, to our great star today, I would love to ask. Um, do you have a manager? Yeah, currently, um, uh, I don't have one, but we're working to to, to have a record label. It's not yet out right now, but they established it as uh, based in Australia. It's called Conical Record. Okay. Yeah, so we're working to to be organized so soon. Right now, it's, it's not yet. Okay. But very so soon, we are going to start. Uh, we are going to start it seriously and uh, we will have great work out. So currently you don't have a manager? I don't know. Right. That means Breezy and MC and Elsa can always apply. <laughs> you have your managers, yeah. And um, you, you said you're also working on it into seeing that you have a manager. Why do you think you would need a manager? Yeah, uh, it is very hard to do things alone. Like uh, It needs actually collectivity of people. Okay. Yeah, when we're many, we can do a lot of things differently. Okay. So my, my, my work is to write music and record them. Okay. Uh, I need people to help me in promoting them. I need people to help me in managing the resources we're getting and what we're giving out, okay. what we're spending and what we're receiving. Okay. If, if, if I'm getting you right, you mean you'll have more than one? Yeah, I need a promoter and a manager. There oh, okay. Yes. So all this come together. It's like it's 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 more of a package, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow, so that is part. really interesting. You, you know, it's it's, well, it's it's really very hard to get artists who can uh, artists who can you know try to manage their stuff on on, on its own. And uh, sometimes you go down, you go up. But I like the way you're doing your stuff, man. Yes, uh, besides though, there's uh, some challenges that you you cannot avoid. You can't yeah. run from those challenges, right? Exactly. And uh, I really like the way you. You, you're popping the music stuff, man. Thank you. Thank you. And um, the, the question I want to ask is, uh, you know, some artists sometimes they uh, they forget that there's life also apart from the music. So is it that there's something that you're really doing for your life or it's on the music that is really making you to, to all to earn a living? Yeah, actually, what is keeping me uh, so tired right now, what is tying me up is that, is that I was also a student. Okay. And, uh, I was doing music with school. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I was supposed to be done uh, by May last year, then COVID-19 came through. I feel, I feel, I feel things. But uh, right now I don't have classes because I'm just waiting for graduation. 
Okay. So that I can come to music industry full force. So which course did you did you really offer? I did a bachelor's of agriculture and rural innovation. So you mean you can also you can also work on someone's animal? <laughs> I, know, I hear people <laughs> say in in it. It's also that I hear people <laughs> say there's lots of kettles there. Yeah, yeah. So you can also be the doctor, you know? At my college, they used to tell me that I'm a musician as well as doctor for cow. You know? <laughs> 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 Wow, wow, wow. Feeling, that is interesting. So, Senior Moch, the greatest star that we have, and uh, one of the greatest artists that we would be proud to present to the world as our flag bearer. Thank you. Um, would you kindly let us know how many albums you have? Uh, so far, I released three albums. Uh, the first one was Dinitech. I did it in my local language. I wanted to convince my local fans. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I started it from uh, the bottom, what I'm trying to, to, to explain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that I was trying to do it uh, so that I can convince my people from the bottom. On my way up, I came through with my second album, Gifted Generation. Uh, yeah, then the rest album, which is out there. Soon I'm releasing another one. It's going to be convincing. It's going to take me out to the world. Wow. My songs will be out to the world. I've been doing it for South Sudan previously, but now I want to do it for the whole world. Okay. Wow, that's really interesting. That's uh, from uh, the guest Institute, of course. Uh, if you're watching live on Facebook, all the South Sudan people, and uh, this is it's all about uh, exposing artists from that South Sudan. Uh, if you want artists that you don't know how to, to bring in your talent, please, I can as well reach out, uh, get us uh, on Facebook, and uh, you can as well uh, go to our WhatsApp number, or you can as well uh, connect to me directly uh, in the name of uh, Breezy on uh, 7734826737. Let us know, because this is all about exposing artists from South Sudan. Uh, because many years you have been seeing that you find that there's someone having talent down there, but he or she doesn't know where to go. So, this is your channel where you should tune in and just get promoted, and your talent will be wow. And just a supplement, South Expose is basically for all the South Sudanese artists out there. It's not like encircled to some of them. And uh, we do not only want to know how you are doing, but we also offer uh, trainings on mentorship on how to go about with your music and uh, how best you can also keep up with the music industry. Do not forget to contact SSP TV on YouTube. And always, of course, you can always get us on our Facebook page that is Midna South Sudan, or you can get us through one of our greatest individuals in the team that is MCBB. You can always get him, and then he will always get to you. Yeah, thank you so much. And back to our artists. How long have you been doing music since you started? Yeah, I was uh, at first, I was trying to respect my family, my parents. Okay. I didn't want to do it earlier because they thought I was going to drop out of school. Oh. So they didn't want me to do it at early stage. So I I started that music when I was in senior one. Uh, that was uh, 2011. That was the time I went to the studio. Then I recorded. Because I was doing it uh, in a way that I didn't want my family or my parents to know. I, I was asking on my own. Doing, trying to pay the, the studio fees on my own, yeah. and uh, it took me time till the, the song got lost in the studio. Uh, then I came back again in 2013 with another song. Okay. That was the song I released. So if you do math well, it's like he's roughly 10 years in the music industry now. Yeah. yeah. Ah, that's it's, super it's, amazing. It's really amazing. Now, yeah, what, what, uh, amazing. this brings me to... Uh, are there any um, achievements that so far you have made in, in that... Uh, Within the rate of 10 years? Uh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 we achieved uh, uh, some... Uh, we established uh, Energetic Giants Management. Okay. Uh, that is our crew. Okay. Uh, now we have uh, several artists that are signed under the EGM. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we, we're working actually. We, we, we're trying to, to bring in... Uh, uh, a team that can also look for talents down there, not only music, we also look at other talents, those who can design, fashion designers, but and what. Okay. Okay. Yeah. As, as we, we, we're trying to get our way up, we will also look at how we can help them and 
discover their talents and support what, what they got. Yeah, we are coming to this music side. We also won an award last. Uh, it was last year, but won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was the best male artist. Uh, Sasa Award. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. I think I would also have given it to you if I were the one doing the okay. award because I've been following your music for quite some time now and uh, you're really doing good in the music industry. And okay. then just to slide down a bit to the questions, I would, uh, I would love to know how you always feel when you're on stage because it's a bit related to us, the hosts. Sometimes if I'm on stage, I know, of course, I'm an MC and I'm used to the crowd, thousands of eyes. But then at the end or at the first spot, you always feel nervous. Yeah. But then as things go on, you feel that it's just a game, it's something you keep on enjoying. So would you kindly share with us how you feel right from the first time you went to stage to perform a song to these other days when you kept on performing? Thank you, thank you. I, I really love that question. Uh, coming to that, I feel so related to my fans and whenever I see them cheering me up, I, I, I get uh, into my emotions and... and, and and feel hurt, you know, I'll be like, really, I'm the voice of those people. Absolutely. You know, those are very, very, very many people, and I'm so lucky to be a voice to those people. So I, I go into those emotions, and I'll be like, I have a lot to do, to voice out, actually, for those people, because I'm their voice. Okay. Yeah. That is really amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget to get us on SSP TV on YouTube and visit the Facebook page, Miss Na South Sudan. I am your host and will continue to be your host for the rest of the program. MC Adelsa, alongside my co host, MC Breezy. Exactly. Yes, we're still exactly. enjoying the video with the you know, you know, artist. I, I, I think there's this, there's this thing burning me up here. Okay. We just want to know. If we are really talking to a uh, flexible artist in the house, you get it? Right. So it's going to do for us one Afrobeat, one hip hop, because oh. you know, it's, 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 it's kind of like flexible. Yeah, true. So let's, for this case, let it be one only. Just do us a, a, a kind of, you know, just make, awesome. a, make, 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 make those ones look watching us right now. Make this the spirits in us are nice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I can yeah. tell you, I do rap, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. let me, let's go. One, two, three. I step on the street since I was seven years in worse condition. I ain't dropped because I was born in hot year. Mommy told me I was born in July when killer was satisfied. In 19, some survived. Land of Kush and Gurush. Killing is only lesson. Development and peace are absent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, uh, I think that's amazing. How do you meet people in, uh, in, in your language that good, good afternoon? Yes, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Alker. Uh, in where is uh, Malik? I, I want you to teach me, man. I want you to teach me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how do I meet people uh, good yeah, afternoon yeah. in your language? In um, where, just in where. Uh, You can. You can tell somebody, male ke chandar. Male chandar. Male. Male ke chandar. Ke chandar. Very hard to learn. Very hard. Very hard. Can I tell you mine also? Can yeah, I tell you mine? I need to know. I need to Good afternoon, you rich people. Irinini. 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 Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one is really difficult, you know. I think I need a lot of food to eat so that I can get that. It's the, 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 the simplest language. Really? Definitely. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice to, be to have you on the show. And um, MC Anessa. Oh, yes. I think. Do you still have more questions for me? I would really have one question that is really eating me from the inside. Okay. Right. Yes. My greatest artist. Senior coach. Um, um, as South Sudanese artists, there are a lot of challenges that they always face in the music industry. It could range from lack of support from the audience or the fans, it could be personal problems to them that they may not wish to share to gain help, it could be in a way that there are, there are some shortcomings that come to you. So, as you an artist that has come through a lot of challenges. What kind of advice do you think you can give to the artists out there that are coming and those that have been in the music industry to continue with the music as long as it's someone's true desire? So what kind of advice from your experience in the music industry do you think you can give these people? Uh, thank you for the question, actually. Uh, 
when, when it comes to the music industry and, and our country, they are a little bit related. Uh, why am I saying they are related? It's because our country is a new country, uh, it's a very young country, and uh, as it is growing up or as it is coming up, the music is also coming up with it. We need to have a good foundation for our music, uh, actually. Uh, that's why we have to be patient, we have to at least be calm, we should not compare ourselves with the rest of the country. Okay. So we should be contented with what we have. Actually, uh, it's, it's not bad to be behind, but we can always catch up. Okay. Uh, whenever we are upcoming artists, we, get, we go through a lot of challenges. Uh, I think even in developed countries, they also have their own challenges. Okay. But uh, with, with ours, uh, many people don't support music. Many people are not convinced with music. Many people are also in love with the outside music. So with all that, we, we just have to keep fasting and praying that we, <laughs> we get them convinced. So musicians also pray. Uh, yeah, we do fast and pray. Okay. We do fast and pray. So uh, with time they will catch up, they will love us, uh, things will be okay. For so now, we should just you know hold on and, and do what we can do. To, to change them slowly, slowly. Change is not a simple thing. Yeah, sure. Change is very slow. Mm. Uh, change can take time. So very soon they are going to change and they will love the music. Right now, let, let us not worry. Okay. Yes, so that and, is very good. And, and, and someone said, if you don't change, change will change you. Absolutely. I said, remember, that's a true senior one work, right? And let's get a song from uh, the man himself. Then when we get back, we still have more to ask you questions. Welcome back from that uh, musical break. Still in the house, of course, uh, we go live for Facebook Dance at South Show Promoters TV, SSP yeah. TV live on Facebook. And uh, get us on YouTube channel and subscribe South Show Promoters TV. And South Shows Promoters TV on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you, there's this question I want you to ask, because I've been hearing and I've been watching the video, uh, it's about calling him, uh, I'm hearing General, General, what <laughs> makes you to really do this, this song? <laughs> this uh, is with General, this, uh, this song, Mashiduba. This, this very song. Yeah, 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 that's my Shijuba. It is it, it, a song that I did uh, when a uh, peace agreement was signed in my country. Okay. Uh, we, we have been, you know, in war for so long. Uh, so when the peace was signed, I was trying to tell myself that I'm going to Jiba because now the home is peaceful, the home okay. is uh, free of war, okay. so I can come back home and enjoy my country. Okay. The same as to the people when it comes, the people in the uh, uh, other countries who are also going through a lot because their country is, 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 is in a serious war. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's what we're trying to tell them that let's go to Europe. 
Okay. Yeah. So basically, you are calling you you are calling people to go back home. Yeah. yeah. Since uh, peace have been prevailing yeah. in Sudan. Yeah. Wow, I like that man. Uh, you kind of uh, you bring me this to one artist from uh, northern Uganda. Remember, they were also for wars quite years. Yeah. Uh, there's this one artist called Boss Mick. He also did a song calling people about. It's all about you know telling people about peace. So this this really this really a nice a nice track, man. And uh, whoever watching us live right now, even if not Sudan, as Sudanese people only, uh, this also includes Uganda. And, you know, mm -hmm. uh, let's have peace because music is all about peace, having peace. And Sierra uh, uh, yeah, is calling for peace. Wow, I like this, this music. music, bro. Yes, I like this. Music. Now, um, uh, do you? Since you do uh, flexible, you know, music, I could say, mm. are you having any plan this year to do a collab with an artist from Uganda? I'm waiting to hear from my management uh, if we can go and, uh, and do more because I wrote a lot of songs. Okay. Almost uh, 60 songs. Okay. Yeah. So we. I wanted to be releasing 10 songs a year. Okay. Uh, those are six years, if I can say. Uh, are prepared for six years to come. That's it. Uh, we can just waiting to hear from the the team that I told you earlier. Okay. Yeah. If you can start the work. Okay. Maybe I will release. I'm going to include a lot of people in my upcoming album. Okay. Yeah. It's going it's going to combine a lot of artists from different countries. Okay. Yeah. So we should even expect from my USA. And um, there is another question, uh, El mm -hmm. uh, We should really ask this guy because whoever watching, maybe some lady out there might be single, you know? <laughs> you mean including mm -hmm. some ladies that are single? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Because you want to know, man. Are you married or single, searching? No, or... that is sometimes okay. too private, but would you be proud enough to share with us your status? Because I am married to a very beautiful lady. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me tell you, she is called music. <laughs> I love that part. That gives some good hope, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because this is some good coin. I know. <laughs> For now, married to music. Yeah. So it's going to be your beautiful children. So to mean you only have one wife, and that is music. Yeah. Yeah, ladies, uh, ladies out there, as we present to you one of the finest musicians we have in <laughs> South Sudan. Okay. Senior watch, of course. He is single but almost taken. And we are receiving messages already from ladies, but then uh, that can be a whole because we shall respond definitely. to you. Uh, yeah. uh, we have only three minutes to, to, to be out of the uh, session of interview. Now, um, what should, where should your fans get you? Just in quick, quick, quick seconds. Where yeah. can they get you? Yeah, yeah everything is seen how much. Uh, what's up, seen how much. Uh, because uh, I attached it to my uh, Facebook page. My WhatsApp is there, you can WhatsApp me, Facebook page, Senior Moj, Instagram, Senior Moj, everything is Senior Moj. Everything is Senior Moj, ladies and gentlemen, is Senior Moj, bro, is Senior Moj. You had it well now to me, to to my team, and uh, MC and Nels, I would mm -hmm. say, peace and love, we are out of here. Peace and love, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being part of this wonderful program, it's our Expose, and with us, was senior Mo sharing with us some of his thoughts and how he goes about the music industry. Thank you so much and don't forget to have us on SSP. I like the way you walk it. I like the way you move in, yeah. Me feel the way you drag it, baby. Can I fall in love or with you? Hey, girl, come, let me feel you. Your beating out drive me crazy, yeah. Girl, come, let me touch you. Your body too good, come, I give you. Come on, come on. 